beautiful people it is sherry molten back with another video oh, my hair's in the way i hope you're having an amazing day um i hope you enjoyed the finishing of my little teacup on a table i think it turned out awesome so with that being said um i want to welcome you if you're new and if you're new please think about subscribing and welcome back to my ogs thank you for sticking with me and I hope we're gonna have some fun today because we're playing with some of the stuff that Laura sent me. I am excited to try this. It is the, oh, I'm pretty sure I have tennis elbow in both arms. My, my hand is so sore I could hardly pick anything up. It's been one of those days. But anyways, long story short, enough of that. We're gonna use the Aquacast today. I'm excited. I am going to make a tray with the Aquacast and I feel ashamed. I am so sorry, Julie, from Julie, from Pour Your Heart Out. I have bought all of these silicone inlays. So I thought I would use an inlay in the mold that I'm using today with the Aquacast. So with that, my beautiful people, I'm excited to try this. I'm going to um, get my working clothes on and I'll see you guys in a second. I'll see you in a sec, guys. Okay, we are back. So this is the mold I'm going to use. I have my scale out. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to clear it. And I'm going to pour water in it just to see how many grams there is in here. So I'm going to fill it up. I think I had it at 140. I couldn't remember, so I had to come back and <laughs> to do it again because of my brain is not working. It cleared on me. So I'm gonna keep drizzling until, yeah, so 140. That takes it right to the rim. I don't know if you can see that. And I need that calculation to help me mix the Aquacast. So I'm going <laughs> to, I will not do this on camera. I'm going to take that off, put it in my, back in my jug so you don't have to witness being, being messy, which you see me all the time. I'll be right back guys. Okay. I am back. So I have never done this before. So you are getting a one first with me. I have not played with it. I am doing it while I'm videotaping. So if there's mistakes, life will happen. So on the back of the bag, it does give you, here, let me move this. On the back of the bag, it does give you the rough measurements. So you pour your water in first, your water should be in your container first. And then you add, like say, this is what I'm gonna probably do, 100 grams of powder and 35 grams of water. So I'm gonna put my 35 grams of water in. I'm gonna be five grams short, but Remember, I'm going to put an inlay in my mold, so that's going to take away from what I need, right? So I'm going to, and it is a white powder. Like, I don't know if you can see in there. It's a white powder. I got myself a little measuring cup in there, so there we go. So now I'm excited. So it has, um, I'm very unprepared today. Da, 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 da. I'm just looking to see how long you have of a playing time. It says any bubbles can be popped up up to um, up to the top of the mold, allowing it to harden 60 to 90 minutes before demolding, and allow 24 to 48 hours to completely cure. But it doesn't tell you how much working time you have while it is being mixed. So we're not going to be long anyway, so we're going to attempt this. There is a link. Laura gave me a link when she gave me this. So I will link that in my description box. And I watched people. I watched Miss Louise Singleton. She's used this actual Aquacast a couple of times. So I've watched a couple of her videos. So I'm trying to do it right the first time. So I've, I've zeroed off my scale i've turned it a little sideways so you can see it but i still need to be able to see it so i'm needing 35 grams of water i'm hoping this cup 
fits it because I didn't want the only other cup I have has all these little ridges so we're gonna see 35 grams 27 8 look at that 35 that was like it was almost planned that is kind of scary for me anyways and then now we need 100 grams of the powder now it's uh, it's going to be a little heavier than the water i'm sure and i'm thinking this is the right way to do it i could be wrong i may have to mix up more oh shootles so i need to clear that so zero That's 54, 80, 88, 97. Oh, 99. There we go. 100. That's scary. They both did the same. I'm hoping that all fits in there. So now we're going to mix. Mix, mix. I don't know. To me, that doesn't seem like that's going to be enough to fit in there. But I could be wrong. And I think the reasoning you put the water on the bottom is that, look at that, it doesn't take much to mix. That you don't have any, I just want to make sure there's nothing empty on the bottom. On the bottom. That doesn't seem like it's going to fit in there. But anyways, we're going to move this. We will try. So I have all these inlays. I'm going to put a little bit of, here, let's do this first. So this is from Laura. I got this from Laura. It's Lorez's um, pigment. It is the blue sapphire i'm a blue girl look at that amazing color so i'm going to put that in here let me just get a little spoon <clears throat> and apparently you can mix anything that you put in your jesmonite can go in here and you can do micas i have to do a little more research pretty sure you can do micas and i'm going to put that much in and we'll see it will lighten the colors. That's why I chose like a nice deep blue. Because I knew it wouldn't be that dark when I was finished. Oh, it looks like a denim almost. Isn't that cute? We'll do one more little scoop because I'd like a little more of the color. We'll do the same. And again, like I said, I may have to mix more. I don't know, it doesn't look like enough to me. But I might be wrong. Get all the sides. That's funny because it actually almost looks like cement. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm going to set that down. I'm going to wipe out my little tray because my tray had whoa, water in it set that here and the inlays oh my goodness I don't know I have I'm 100% sure I have an unboxing video but I have all these inlays there's shells there are butterflies I think three different butterflies couple of shells and a seahorse and then oh another butterfly and then the rest are flowers but I thought this little guy would go right in here it's a dragonfly put them right on that corner we'll get these out of here I'm ashamed I haven't used them and I've probably had them for almost a year no The Leaning Tower of Pizza is behind me. <laughs> They're 
there you go. There's always something when you come to Sherry's channel. All right, so I'm gonna stick that in here and the silicone will stick to the silicone. I think that's cute. Okay, let's go. guys it doesn't look like enough to me but you know what I might do another I'm gonna do another little batch because it is definitely not enough and I thought that's how you did it was that you put water in your um, mold and that gave you with your weight all right let's do this again okay so we're gonna let that sit for a sec we'll do some let me get my whole board. All right. So I'm going <laughs> to I'm going to set that aside. I'm not even going to let you look at this scale. I'm just going to quickly grab another cup and mix up some more. And, well, I guess the smallest amount, it lets you, okay, so we'll do 30. This is so easy to mix up as well. It's 36, which is fine. And then now I'm gonna clear that. And I'm gonna move this over here so I don't put it over top of the old one. And we're just gonna mix up the same amount. So that's 54. 77. 80, 90. Ooh, 103, but that's good because I was over a little with the water. I'm just gonna use the same stick and we'll stir that up. I will have to figure out exactly how to measure my mold then because I thought that's how I saw them do it. Almost looks like it's floating. There we go. I'm going to add my pigment in there. I'm going to do a big one because I did two little bits in there. That'll go a long way, actually, if it's... There we go. So let's pour the rest in here. Let me... I just want to see if that's actually... Oh, 
Oh, it's on there. Okay. So that takes double that. That's crazy. I'm going to have to... This is how I craft. I just go in and I just go in. I don't... <laughs> I find the more I, I research, sometimes the, the more... Um, it's better, you should research, don't get me wrong, but I'm the type, the more I do something, the worse I get at it. I don't know if that makes any sense or not. Okay. Tap, jiggle. Oh, that, see, that's perfect, so two. So mix 270. Water for that mold. I'm making a little note. I'm not good at wiggly jigglies. I'm afraid of making it spill. Cause I can I can see some bubbles in there. Let me just get a stick. Ooh. I just want to do this. I'm not sure if I need to, but we will. taps. I hope my camera doesn't go jiggly on me. There. I'm going to do that and I'm going to leave it sit. It says it takes anywhere from 60 to 90 minutes. So hopefully I can do this before I go to work. I'm excited. So I'll see you guys. I'm going to keep wiggling, jiggling, getting rid of these bubbles because I see them coming up. And I'll see you guys when this is cured. Oh my goodness, this is ready. I'm excited. All right, let's go. I'm excited to see how. Let me here. Let me just get all of this off. Let's just do it right straight on the board. I'm going to go this way so I don't damage it at all. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. It's so soft. Now my inlay, that might be another issue. Let me see. I'm going to grab something and see if I can pop it out. Let's go this way. There it is. There it is. Grab it, Cherry. OMG. <sighs> Look at that. I am impressed. Wow. And you could... <sighs> I could do a layer of resin and put resin in that if I decided to. I think that is awesome. 
I lucked out. I have no little... Oh, I see one little one here and one here. I am ecstatically impressed. That's kind of cool. I hope you enjoyed my new experiment with the the aqua casting um, compound. I got mine from Laura's Art Corner. I will leave all the info in the description box. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So we'll be playing. Now I purchased this mold in purpose of thinking of this stuff and it's kind of like a um, planter but I know you may have to seal it this one I'm not worried I will probably seal it I'm gonna figure out what I should seal it with if you guys know please let me know in the description box and yeah I'm so excited this is cool this is cool so with that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. And with that being said, everything I use today will be in the description box. And here's my long winded exit. I want to thank all my amazing sponsors. And here we go. So I have my two um, Lorez <laughs> my two Lores um, distributors. I have the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my US distributor who also gave me this product today. And we also use the Lores pigment today. Um, I wanna thank her from the bottom of my heart for gifting me this and go check out her website, my Glitter Guru, uh, my discount code for Laura's all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10%. And also I have my Canadian Lores distributor, which is Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. Go check out her website. And again, she has more than just Lores. Um, my discount code for Michelle is Sherry Moulton 10, capital S, capital N. I also have the Lores, <clears throat> my um, Let's Resin discount code is sherry m10 capital s capital m and don't forget the discount code is good for all three of the sites i have linked i have the canadian i have the american and i also have the uk site i have crystal resin um, my discount code for crystal resin is sherry molten 5 capital s i also have the washi tape shop and my discount code for them is all capital letters SHERRY10. I also have the links to where to purchase Julie Cuts Molds, which are the ones I have these little guys I use today. I also have the links to um, Molds and Shapes Molds. I also have the link to where to purchase Triart Liquid Glass. And I also have my Amazon links, which I'm an affiliate with. And my PayPal is in there if you choose to donate and help support the channel. So with that, my beautiful people, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope you enjoyed my little experiment. It is number one for me. So this might be basic, but I think it turned out pretty awesome. So with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.